wabarakatuh. Hello guys, how are you today? My name is Nur Aini Purita Brani, and today I want to tell you how to build your confidence when teaching. Before I explain to uh the, to give the tips to build your confidence, I want to ask you something. Hmm, have you ever felt like this, or maybe like this, or maybe like this? Okay, guys. There is a condition when you don't have a confidence. So, what is a confidence? Confidence is something that cannot be faked, but it can be built. Why? Because confidence it comes from ourselves, so it cannot be faked, but it can be built. Okay, guys. We know that um, ha- being a teacher is not an easy matter, right? It takes courage. A strong confidence to convince people that what they say is useful and beneficial to others. Having confidence will naturally boost their overall effectiveness. It is a key of component of being successful. Lacking self confidence will improve a teacher to find a new career. But guys, um, basically, everyone is able to teach. Everyone is able to be a teacher, but it depends from us. We want to grow up to build our confidence, or we just stay in our place. Don't want to grow to build our confidence, so it depends from us. But if we want to grow up to build your confidence, but you don't know how to do it, don't worry. I will give. The tips and tree to build your confidence. Do you want to know it? Okay, let's check this out. Okay, guys, I have eight tips and tricks to build your confidence. The first thing you need to do is consider your strength. What is mean? It's like that. Take a good heart and look at yourself. What abilities do you have? What do you do better than most? Are you the funny people and gagging in class? Are you good with grammar backward and forward? Are you great with young learners and are you a patient teacher? Every teacher has strengths that they bring to the class and weaker areas that work on. But the goals of this exercise is to boost your confidence. So. Focus on the thing that can make you unique and special as a teacher. Whether they are personality traits or knowledge you have gained through the years. The second is be prepared. What is mean? It's like that. Know you know what you are getting yourself into. We know that not only when we want to teaching, we must have a preparation time, right? But when we want to do something, we must have a preparation time because it will make us easier to do something. I know this isn't always possible, of course. But if you got some prior warning that can make you appear more confident than anything else, it's right to take a preparation time. Never skim on preparation time, especially if you are an anxious person. And don't write into the prescription, in prescription, and make it into flexibility. Because if you might, you might be panic if you have to change pathways through. The third is practice regularly. As a skills, teaching cannot be obtained just like that. It needs practice regularly that will make us that will make. Our teacher learnings will develop, and the main key to the to build our self confidence is improve our learning teaching. And one way to improve our teaching skills is by recording our learning teachings with a video, and we can do it by record our learning progress with mobile phones, camera recorder. Or anything equipments, and you know, by recording our running progress, we can make make uh, make a review, uh, make a review like um, 
is our are our teaching learning is good or not and it will make us to build our confidence okay guys the fourth is relax don't be tense when you want to teaching try to relax and don't be tension because tension will uh, will trigger your adrenaline which makes your brain will become a tension and it will make us cannot thinking when the tension occurs it will make someone cannot develop their abilities to the maximum so that that what has been prepared so far that has been disappeared or forgot or what was said try to relax and enjoy everything that that is happened in the class let it flow and follow the atmosphere while teaching as you know tension also occurs when someone always thinking negative such as fear of something and always think that he or she will make mistakes after that try to smile i'm sure it will make us easier and don't forget to have interaction with students because it also an effective way to reduce attention if you can make a fun and lively atmosphere in the class i believe you can be more confident when teaching in the class the fifth is don't think just do it one of the big mistake that always people do when he or she want to teaching is always thinking too much too much consideration will make us thinking how to be a perfectly teacher that always don't make a mistake hmm. don't ever think just like that you know that as a human we of, of course we 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 had a mistake right so don't ever think just like that when you enter the class what you need to do is don't ever think you will make a mistake do the best as you can so with your comfort confidence is the best that you can give after the teaching you can to a review that which side is good and which side is need an improve in teaching in the next teaching of learning progress so it will make you more confident the six is do it with your style Finding a teaching style is an art of itself. We ourselves know how the most confident to interact with students, the one-way communication, how to work, and how to use various media in teaching. You know that by you by teaching in accordance with our styles and conscience, we can freely express our expression and innovation without any burden thus the potential that exists within us can we unless everything the seven is interaction with students the students that we face are not a stone that will stand still when we teach they are a human too who are able to have interaction with us when we teach something take advantage of them well, by having a positive interaction with them during of the learning and teaching process interaction with audience will dilute the atmosphere while understanding them that they are an important part of the learning and teaching process thus the process of realizing that learning that they need it will will be easier to do as a teacher our job is become a bridge of knowledge so we can help them to continue their learning and gain more knowledge and the last is praying to god before you want to teaching when the profession is done well there is nothing but submitting to god almighty pray with all your requests so that the learning and teaching process can can run smoothly 
Thus, we can feel calm that what we do get his good pleasure and help. But with the peace of mind can lead our mental attitude and mind so that what has been prepared so far can run smoothly. And then praying will give us a strong confidence that God will give us help. Okay guys, there is all for me. Thank you for your attention and I hope these tips and tricks can help you to build your confidence. I'm sorry if I made a lot of mistakes in my pronunciation because I'm still learning. Okay, goodbye and see you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.